something about the rate of reactions involving nature, one of which is the ripening of fruit, but we will only be focusing on the ripening of banana. Interesting, isn't it? Okay. The chemical compositions of Lakatan banana. The Lakatan banana is composed of several bioactive compounds such as phenolics, carotenoids, biogenic amines, and phytosterols. Phenolics and carotenoids are antioxidants that help protect the body from oxidative stress and inflammation. Biogenic amines, on the other hand, is involved in various physiological processes such as neurotransmission and immune The health function. benefits of Lakatan bananas are linked to their unique chemical composition which includes phenolics, carotenoids, biogenic amines, and cytosterols. These natural compounds offer a range of advantages. They can protect you from sickness, help you digest food better, and keep your heart healthy. In essence, the health benefits of Lakatan bananas are closely tied to their chemical makeup, making them a natural partner in our quest for a healthier and more vibrant life. Redox Reactions of the Lakatan Banana The Lakatan Banana undergoes various redox reactions in real life. Ripening is initiated by ethylene gas, a plant hormone that prompts starch breakdown into sugar, yielding a sweet taste and soft texture. Browning results from phenolic compound oxidation when exposed to air, leading to brown pigment formation. Furthermore, the change in color from green to yellow as banana ripens is due to Redox reaction involving the breakdown of chlorophyll and the formation of carotenoid. What happens inside the bananas when it ripens? Usually, bananas are picked and transported from the tropics when it is still green. To prevent it from ripening, the bananas are refrigerated when transported. Temperature in approximately 13 degrees, which is good for 2 to 4 weeks. Upon the arrival on its destination and it's not refrigerated, the ripening will occur. Ripening is initiated with ethylene or C2H4. Ripening continues about 15 degrees Celsius. So when a banana gets too cold, they cannot ripen anymore. The cell walls inside the banana disintegrate and in turn makes the banana turn gray. As the banana ripens, chlorophyll degrades, masking the yellow colors of carotenoid pigments. The rate of chlorophyll degradation is temperature dependent. So the enzyme phenolosidase is responsible for the brown coloration. The browning occurs mainly when the banana is injured. It prevents O2 from the air from penetrating the tissue. As the banana ripens, starch is converted into glucose and fructose. This would make the banana become increasingly soft, easy to peel, and sweet. For the symbolic representation, the ripening of bananas is an example of a redox reaction. The ripening process, like bananas, involves the conversion of starches into sugars such as glucose and fructose, which makes the fruit sweeter and softer. This transformation from starch to sugar is a redox reaction, with the starch being oxidized, losing electrons, and the sugars being reduced, gaining electrons. Enzymes in fruit play are ruled in facilitating this conversion. Additionally, the change in color from green to yellow as banana ripen is due to the breakdown of chlorophyll, or the green pigment, and the formation of carotenoids, or the yellow and orange pigments, which also involves in redox reaction. H4. This occurs because ethylene reacts with oxygen gas. Yield two in the air to form carbon dioxide and water. Plus H2O. So these products help speed up the ripening of fruits. Now, a chemical reaction in the ripening of fruit. This is the chemical equation. But the question is, are these chemical equations balanced? Well, it is not. So what would be the first thing to do? We need to write the elements. The C, H, and O. Now, let's have the number of atoms per element. So in the carbon, the, in the reactant side, the atoms of carbon is 2, while here is 1. Well, in the element of hydrogen, the atom here is 4, and here in the product side, there's 2. And for the oxygen in the reactant side, 
here is two, and in the product side, here is three. So we need to balance both reactants and product. So we need to put a coefficient of two here in the product side so that both are the carbons are balanced. Next, let's proceed to the hydrogen. So here, here in the reactant side, the part of hydrogen is four, has four atoms. Now let's put two here to make the hydrogen atom or to make the hydrogen atom balance. Now let's proceed to the oxygen. In the oxygen, here in the reactant side, this uh, uh, the atom of oxygen is only two, while in the product side is only three. So we add three here so that on the other side there would be six atoms in all. So in chemical reactions of ripening of fruit, these are the balanced chemical reaction or equation. In our bodies, redox reactions are essential for energy productions, metabolism, and defense against pathogens. In technology, they drive processes like fuel combustion, batteries operation, and electronics. A redox reaction also plays a key role in preventing corrosion, purifying water, and managing environmental pollution. By recognizing redox reaction, we can make informed choices. We will be informed, maintain health, and especially addressing critical environmental challenges contributing to improve well-being and a sustainable future.